this team some of those two games as well? Uh, they, they, we're not down. Uh, we let us a little, thought we were a little overrated, and I thought we went down there and just you know, played great basketball and just showed, uh, showed teams that are going to take away a couple of our options. We got, uh, we got a lot of them. Talk about how much progress you guys made. Uh, it, it, was, it was a big step for us. Um, playing Big Ten teams, the Pac-12 teams, uh, I thought it really tested our inside and out game. Uh, they, they had some big bodies in there. I thought we were. Ethan, you were 7-14 uh, behind the arc. What, what's kind of been the reason why you're so hot back there? I, I think a lot of it has to do with uh, they're really, really trying to take away the inside uh, game of Doug and Greg, and uh, it's making it easier to step into those threes when they're coming from the inside out and just uh, just staying ready and being able to knock them down. Ethan, you come off the bench. How important is it for you to have a big game knowing that you're on the bench and going up against uh, – you know, kind of that other guy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, it's big for us uh, ha having uh, me and Josh come in and uh, being able to get some shots up for us, take some pressure off our uh, pressure off our starters. So uh, sometimes if they're not hitting shots, uh, we'll, we're able to come and give them some relief. Doug's been struggling a little bit with his three-point strokes, and has kind of concentrated on just getting baskets inside. Mm -hmm. In turn, has that opened, like you said, opened things up for you outside? Yeah, I, I think Doug's really, uh, he, he's been killing people down low, and uh, when, when they do that, and especially when me and Doug are in, if uh, they're going to take away uh, the inside, then we're going to swing it a couple times and get one of the threes. Ethan, you're ranked 11th in the nation now. You've got a lot of national exposure. Uh, what does that do for this team when you get some next it, it, it's nice to get the recognition, um, just playing on ESPN and uh, playing against some big schools, but uh, it doesn't really change how we, uh, we approach practice, and we got a really big week uh, this week for us. So it's, it, it's nice to be known, but uh, we can't let it go too far to our head and uh, get us playing differently. Ethan, they were talking basically Wisconsin game felt like a tournament game. What can you learn from this last weekend that can help you maybe down the line in the Missouri Valley or even in the NCAA tournament? Uh, when we go to neutral courts like that, uh, we know we can't rely on a like, home court or anything like that, so we got to be able to bring it. And just it was kind of a tournament experience where we only had one day to prepare for Arizona State. So we got uh, we got tournaments like that, like the Valley Tournament, and hopefully NCAA tournament that uh, we are uh, we, we got to be able to lock in and really grasp game plans faster. You guys have Boise State coming up tomorrow. What do you know about that? Uh, we know that they, they play four guards, they play extremely hard, uh, they, they get to the hole, uh, they, they gave Michigan State a really great game at Michigan State, and uh, they are, they're a well-coached team, uh, they, they got some shooters and they got, uh, they got guys that get the cup. What does it say about them, they were able to hang with Michigan State in their uh, it, it showed that they're, uh, they're not afraid to go into big places and uh, they're not going to back down, so we're not sure if Michigan State underestimate them, but we don't want to make those same kind of mistakes. Is it good that they gave Michigan State that kind of game? Because obviously you guys got a big game coming on Saturday. There could be the tendency to maybe either let down or overlook on, uh, the fact that they put Michigan State so well. Does that kind of get your attention? Yeah, it, well, they obviously cannot be overlooked. Uh, they were able to hang with them and had the lead late in the game. So uh, we, we can't be looking at to Saturday. We've got to focus on our Wednesday. Especially this first one, if our four-man jumps below it, 